Hey, Jacob here. I uh, hope you're well. I'm, oh, I'm absolutely knackered today. Completely knackered. I have, um, kind of hammered it at the gym quite a lot these last few weeks and has got me thinking about the whole issue of body image and body dysmorphia and I've done a few videos about this now yesterday on getting gay star news as an article has been in the article has been there a few times before granted about a young man who has um body image issues and body dysmorphia images and the comments were horrible and vile and judgmental and showed that I'm ashamed of my community sometimes, utterly, utterly ashamed of my community and these vile, judgmental little queens who are saying that it's all about attention seeking and blah, blah, blah. I can tell you it's not, okay? I have at times wanted to take my own life because I don't feel that my body is muscly enough, or I'm good looking enough, or I'm worthy enough, you know, all of these things. It is a really serious fucking issue in our community. Young gay men are much more likely to have eating disorders than heterosexual, heterosexual young men. Young gay men are six times more likely to take steroids than heterosexual young men. You know, it indicates there is a serious problem in our community around image, around body, because we are completely and utterly obsessed with sex and getting sex and obtaining sex and fucking people and being fucked and, and all of that. And the apps have made this far, far worse. You know, the gay press is all body, body conscious. Our Attitude magazine, quite a few of the hottest young, young 25 hunks, you know, that kind of thing, you know, perfect bodies, perfect this, perfect that. You know, there's a lot of fucking pressure and, you know, I will name and shame. See that guy there? Angel something? Well, he got really fucking wild. I shared my story and said that, that. I understood how this young man felt, and he said I was attention seeking and seeking sympathy. When all I was doing was trying to make people aware that it is a serious fucking issue, that it is something that affects people very deeply. And yes, this young man may have taken lots of selfies, but that's an indication of, of self esteem issues. You know, someone's taking selfies all the time. And having to put selfies out there for approval and for comment, it shows that there is an issue there around how they feel about themselves. You know, and yes, there are lots of problems in the world around LGBT issues and stuff like that. But you know, within our own community, we've got to stick together as brothers and support each other. You know, and, and yes, I do prefer beefier guys, but I don't. They don't necessarily have to be muscle beef, just stocky guys, you know, that's my, that's what I prefer, you know, but I'm not going to judge people and belittle them because they don't have a perfect body, you know, <clears throat> but this really kind of got to me yesterday a little bit, you know, just the vile judgmental comments from people about it, you know, about it completely having no understanding or awareness of what it's all about, you know, and I bet. Some of those fucking guys are the ones who are in the fucking cottage sucking off 20 guys in one night, you know? Or in the dark room being fucked by 15 guys, or in the sauna being fucked by 15 guys, I bet these. It's that sort, you know? It's, it's, it's just. You know, it is a serious issue in our community. It really does deeply affect it on many levels around how guys feel about themselves, how worthy they feel and stuff like that. I'm a lot better than I was, you know. Um, I still struggle with it. I still have a slight belief that I'm single because I'm not muscly enough or good looking enough, you know. It's still very little bit. It's not as much as it was, but it's still very little bit. You know, I think it's probably quite likely I'm single because of the fire they the and the mental health issues, I mean, that's a different issue, you know, um, 
I don't know what to say really. We just have to treat each other better. And really, you know, if you see comments like that on feeds in in, in response to articles, please challenge these bastards. And please put them in their place and let them know that, um, you know, especially if you see this fucking guy, Angel, Angel Lazza, he's a completely judgmental little fucking wanker, basically, you know? So, there you go.